you, uh, Varim, and uh, thanks uh, also to uh, all the other panelists and the, and the MEPs for their insights. Um, let me give a short uh, perspective from uh, from the Commission, and then, of course, uh, you know, from from where I am, which is the uh, uh, the innovation and competitiveness and new technologies unit of uh, DG Energy. <clears throat> and uh, uh, it is clear that also for us, uh, digital and the link between digital and energy, the link between uh, the, the digital transformation and the Green Deal is of key importance. It, it will really transform uh, the energy market. It is already transforming the energy market to some extent, but there I think there are still many things that can happen. Um, and this is also, from our point of view, a, a necessary and a good thing because uh, digit, uh, digital technologies will help us to win, run the energy system more efficiently and integrate more renewables. Um, so when we talk digital uh, with the colleagues, we, we usually split it up in, uh, or we address it from four angles, uh, which is, uh, you know, not not the final truth and definitely not a complete list, but just to give you an insight into how, how we look at it and how we discuss it. Uh, and that is, first of all, uh, with the increased digital technologies, uh, we absolutely need to make sure that uh, the grid stays secure. So the cybersecurity dimension of it, the privacy dimension of it, uh, needs to be absolutely safeguarded. And um, colleagues uh, have been working very closely between DG Energy and Connect to make sure that all the latest uh, cyber security uh, knowledge also, apply, also applied in the energy system because with increased digitalization, it gets more and more uh, vulnerable. And there is a, a network code on cyber security in the making. There is, we are looking also at the commission as a whole together with all the colleagues at critical infrastructure. And so, you know, cyber security, making the grid secure, the energy system secure is a, basically a sine qua non if we want to do anything about digitalization. The second issue uh, that we very often look at, which is uh, which, where these two sectors come together, is the energy consumption of the IT sector. And so uh, we all know that the, the IT sector is increasingly uh, consuming a lot of energy, and we want to make sure that this is done in the most uh, efficient way. But we also want to make sure that uh, the IT sector is a driver for investments in renewables. And we see some very nice uh, initiatives in this area, some very innovative ways also how to deal with, um, uh, let's say, the cooling requirements of uh, big data centers, for example. But um, we want to make sure that we, as a whole, also uh, use the increasing consumption of electricity of the IT sector to drive investments in renewables. Uh, the third thing is the uptake of the digital technologies in the energy system. And so using big data, uh, using the newest cyber technologies, using 5, using 5G, all these kind of things, how can we uh, in the energy sector make best use of those technologies that become available is something that uh, we're also driving and pushing through many uh, innovative projects. And I'll come back to that in a sec. And then the, the fourth thing, which I think is the most important thing, uh, where it's really uh, the transformative power of the digital uh, technologies and digitalization in the energy sector is the move away from um, products to services. And like we've seen it in other sectors, we think that is something that can still also happen in the energy sector, where you go away from buying megawatt hours as a consumer and you buy basically, uh, so to say, bandwidth in terms of uh, production or consumption uh, and you uh, use much more of the flexibility that is at the end consumer side in terms of his consumption uh, to help integrating renewables. We think this is the big uh, thing that can help uh, in storing electricity, in uh, managing the energy system, in increasing the load of the grid, of the grid so that we can in, uh, increase the capacity of renewables um, uh, in the most efficient way possible. And there is no doubt that we will need to invest in more hardware and more copper more cables if we have an increased electrification but to make that as efficient as possible we also need to increase the use of the wires and the system and uh, reduce the peaks um, have a more equal use so to say and for that we need uh, digitalization um, but th that last thing how do we turn that into uh, how do we turn the, the, the market into a more service oriented market a data driven 
uh, energy services market, as we like to call it, uh, there are a few big challenges uh, related to the business models and also uh, related to the, the way the, 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 the energy system works. And we recently published a competitiveness progress report as part of the State of the Energy Union, where we looked at the competitiveness of the clean energy technology sector, and we also looked at the digital services. And we see that there are a lot of um, companies and services emerging in grid uh, services, in uh, building energy management systems, in uh, aggregating services, uh, all still quite separate. Uh, but Europe in general is doing very good in this market and home energy uh, management systems and building energy management systems, also in the aggregator side, uh, we're doing very well. Although sometimes you see that the software development, uh, Europe is not really leading, but then turning it into services for households in the European market, we're actually doing, doing very well. Uh, so we see all kinds of new business models emerging, and we also think that these different types of businesses will gradually come together, all uh, becoming some uh, you know, business towards network operators or suppliers, in terms of providing a flexibility uh, service. And this, I think, is very important because it will be an alternative to expensive investments in uh, batteries or in storage or these kind of things. Again, not meaning that we don't need batteries. We will need them anyway. But if we can um, benefit from the flexibility that is in the way uh, people consume electricity and use the demand response and these kind of things as much as possible, we can reduce uh, the investments we need in the more expensive other types of technologies. But that means that we need to make this digital services market very easy to access, very easy to operate, very easy to function. And there are some things that we need to look at, like uh, double grid tariffs, uh, double taxation, if you store electricity, and these kind of things really need to be addressed, and, and it's something that we're looking at very closely. Um, how we're trying to push this digitalization of energy is through, uh, on the one hand, through a lot of projects and, and innovation uh, through Horizon 2020. We've been investing a lot in projects where we bring TSOs, DSOs, suppliers, consumers together to, um, to look at this new way of organizing flexibility. We've been investing in projects where we bring together big data energy, uh, and energy companies uh, to look at the application of big data or, or IoT or cybersecurity in the energy system. So really bringing together the different sides in one project to see how can we actually apply this and make it tailor-made to the energy system? Um, and what we've been doing recently with all these different projects is bring them together in uh, bigger projects where we uh, see, where we basically ask the network operators together with uh, suppliers to develop uh, as much as possible one type of interoperability uh, data exchange infrastructure uh, that everybody uh, could in principle make use of because we think that it's going to be very easy to use and easy to access this type of market if there is a common data infrastructure if every network operator needs to set up its own uh, software system uh, if every supplier needs to look at every market where it is and invest in a different uh, software system because it wants to be partic participating in the flexibility market then it's going to take a long time to make this market work and it's also going to be very expensive. And then all the alternatives like batteries and things like that will become cheaper. So we really have an interest in, in, in making this digital infrastructure uh, as easily accessible as possible. So we're putting projects together, asking them to cooperate, to, to see how they can jointly, uh, with all the parties that are in these projects, come up with a digital infrastructure, uh, how that is managed, how, the, how those different you know, software systems in different companies can be matched and connected. Um, and, uh, and in Horizon Europe, where we're now discussing the next work program, we're also looking at ways to, to support a kind of uh, structure where uh, the different projects uh, actually um, make sure that what they have uh, investigated and discovered becomes as widely as available to everybody and that there is a kind of shared governance between the different companies to really look how such an interoperable system of the future should work. And we hope that will contribute to the other work that we're doing at the moment, which is looking at uh, a network code on, code on flexibility and a delegated act on, uh, on interoperability, all helping this digitalization of the energy sector. So we think that with the projects that we're doing, different, par different parties together, we can make, uh, we can create a common understanding, test some of the solutions 
so that uh, we can then also lay them down in network codes or delegated acts. And uh, this is all going to be also part of the digitalization of energy action plan that we're working on and that is foreseen for next year, where basically we want to uh, show how all these different elements of um, uh, network codes, projects, etc., are connected together to make, uh, so to say, an investment program or a transformation program of, uh, of the energy system leading to more towards more digitalization. So I would say uh, happy to engage in the discussion now and uh, and seeing this also as a start of the work from our point of view uh, in the coming year to discuss this further, what we actually need to focus on in this digitalization of energy action plan. So thank you very much.